In episode 3 of The Last of Us, the focus shifts to Bill and Frank in a 60 plus minute installment that offers ample opportunities for hidden easter eggs and references. The story picks up where the previous episode left off, with Joel and Ellie, played by Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey, grappling with the aftermath of Tess's sacrifice as they make their way to the town where Bill and Frank reside. Along the way, the episode takes a detour to 2003 and delves into Bill's experiences during the outbreak. The episode chronicles the journey of Bill and Frank, charting their meeting, the evolution of their relationship, and their ties to Joel and Tess, hinted at by a radio song in Episode 1. Through its most significant departures from the original game, The Last of Us Episode 3 delivers a poignant and emotionally powerful narrative. Furthermore, amidst its 75 minute runtime, the episode is peppered with subtle details, allusions, and easter eggs related to both the show's story and the original game. In The Last of Us Episode 3, the storyline featuring Bill and Frank is, in itself, a nod to video game culture, despite being a significant departure from the original game. In the game, Frank had already passed away by the time Joel and Ellie arrived in London, whereas Bill was still alive. However, in the episode, while accompanying Bill on their journey, Joel and Ellie discovers Frank's corpse hanging in a house in Lincoln. A collectible note they find provides a glimpse into the past relationship between Bill and Frank, and this single piece of evidence serves as the driving force behind the plot of The Last of Us Episode 3. Welcome to Streaming Addicted, your YouTube channel that reveals the best movies and TV series of the moment every day. In The Last of Us Episode 3, a flashback scene sheds light on how Bill managed to evade being taken into a quarantine zone by the US military during the 2003 outbreak. His deep-seated anti-authoritarian paranoia proved advantageous as he remained hidden while his neighbors were apprehended, with evidence suggesting they were likely executed and buried in a mass grave discovered by Ellie and Joel in 2023. Bill's reaction to evading capture is a defiant, not today, you new world order jackboot fucks, as he successfully conceals himself in a sub-basement hideout, which was well stocked with a cache of weaponry that could sustain him for an extended siege. Being the only inhabitant remaining in the town, Bill proceeds to fortify his location with various traps and gathers supplies, effectively turning his hideout into a luxurious refuge as the world around him crumbles. In the flashback scene, there is even a tantalizing glimpse of what appears to be a mouth-watering steak, a stark contrast to the desolate world outside. Fast forward to 2007, and Bill's survivalist lifestyle appears to have kept him in good shape, as he looks relatively unchanged four years after the outbreak. However, his solitary existence is upended when Frank, a survivor from the Baltimore quarantine zone, stumbles into a trap outside his perimeter. Despite their contrasting personalities, Frank's warmth and kindness ultimately breaks down Bill's emotional barriers with a little help from Rinda Ronstadt's music. As a result, Bill and Frank fall deeply in love and begin to build a life together. Offerman's portrayal of Bill's transformation is truly remarkable, a stunning metamorphosis from a reclusive survivalist to a man opening his heart to love. As the years go by, Bill and Frank also befriend Tess and Joel, inviting the smugglers over for a meal and eventually agreeing to work together. Tess and Frank hit it off instantly, while Joel and Bill develop a mutual respect despite their differences in temperament. However, in 2010, raiders attack the town, an event that Joel had warned Bill about previously. Although their fortified defenses hold up, Bill sustains a gunshot wound, and his survival is dependent on Frank's medical expertise. Fast forwarding to 2020, it becomes evident that Frank has been battling severe health issues for some time, and he has lost most of his mobility. He is now confined to a wheelchair, and even using his hands appears to be a challenge. Although his illness is not explicitly identified, it appears to resemble ALS or MS. However, according to writer Craig Mazin, the show's creators left Frank's condition ambiguous on purpose, as he mentioned on the show's official podcast. Despite his health struggles, Frank is fortunate to have Bill as a devoted caregiver, who helps him with his medication and day-to-day -day tasks. One fateful morning in 2023, Bill wakes up to find Frank sitting up beside him. 
Knowing that there is no cure for his ailment, Frank confesses that it's his last day and that he had spent most of the night out of bed. He makes a touching request, asking Bill to give him one more good day and to take him to the boutique to pick out outfits for their wedding day. He wants Bill to wear what he picks and they will enjoy a lovely dinner tonight. Give me one more good day. Take me to the boutique where I'll pick outfits for us. You'll wear what I ask and we'll get married. And you'll cook a delicious dinner, he says, before taking his pills out of his pocket. And you'll crush all these up, put them in my wine. I will drink it. Then you will take me by my hand, bring me to our bed, and I will fall asleep in your arms. Despite struggling to come to terms with Frank's decision, Bill ultimately agrees to his partner's request. Their final hours together are portrayed through a beautiful and emotional montage. It's difficult to not feel moved by their love for each other. As the wine is poured, Bill follows Frank's request and crushes his pills into the drink. However, he also admits to having done the same to his own wine, ultimately choosing to share Frank's fate. Tenderly, Bill helps Frank to their bedroom before the scene fades to black. In The Last of Us Episode 3, Ellie and Joel stumble upon Bill's abandoned house and discover a note left for them. The note, addressed to whomever, but probably Joel, reveals Bill's change of heart after meeting Frank and falling in love. I used to hate the world and I was happy when everyone died, but I was wrong because there was one person worth saving, the note reads. That's what I did. I saved him, then I protected him. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. And God help any who stand in our way. The note also instructs Joel to use the weapons and equipment left behind by Bill to keep Tess safe, a request that clearly hits Joel hard. The duo then takes Bill's car and sets off on a journey to find Joel's ex-Firefly brother, Tommy, in Wyoming. As they hit the road, Linda Ronstadt's long, long time sets the tone for their emotional journey. Bill's character in the game is quite different from his portrayal in the show. He's a highly skilled survivor who managed to barricade himself in this town with an impressive array of traps. However, his underlying warmth isn't as apparent in the game. When Ellie and Joel stumble upon him while being chased by a swarm of infected, he rescues them but is quick to demand that they leave his town. Despite this, they manage to strike a deal and form an uneasy alliance to secure the car they need to continue their journey. They battle their way through Infected to reach the vehicle and successfully complete the mission. After helping Ellie and Joel, Bill returns to his isolated life and his fate is left unclear, unlike the show. In one of his many bitter comments, Bill vaguely references his relationship with someone he once cared for and looked after in the past. I had someone I cared about once, a partner, someone I had to take care of, he grumbles. But in this world, that kind of crap just gets you killed. So I wised up and realized it has to be just me. Although never explicitly stated, it's hinted that Bill and Frank had a romantic relationship through a gay porn magazine Ellie stumbles upon in his home. Now, let's jump into the Easter eggs. Bill and Frank getting married is important. The Last of Us Episode 3 also includes a subtle reference to Bill and Frank's relationship, which is not explicitly stated in the game. In the world of The Last of Us, gay marriage was not legalized in any U.S. state before the outbreak in 2013, and Massachusetts was the first state to legalize it in the real world in 2004. Therefore, Bill and Frank's decision to be together and have a symbolic marriage at the end of the episode is a touching tribute to their love and commitment, despite the legal and societal barriers they faced. The importance of Bill and Frank's last meal. The Last of Us contains a meaningful hidden detail regarding Bill and Frank's last meal. The meal they share before their death is the same one that Bill cooked for Frank 20 years earlier, which serves as a poignant reference to the events of the episode. The fact that their final meal was the same one that brought them together in the first place adds a layer of poetic beauty to their tragic ending. Joel and Ellie receive iconic Last of Us game outfits. After discovering the bodies of Bill and Frank, Joel and Ellie take a moment to clean up and change clothes. Although it may seem insignificant, the clothes they choose to wear are actually a subtle nod to the original game that may go unnoticed by non-Last of Us players. Joel dons his iconic green plaid shirt, which has become synonymous with his character in the game. 
while Ellie wears a burgundy shirt with blue sleeves, another outfit that's closely associated with her in the game. Joel's rules to Ellie are kept the same. In The Last of Us Episode 3, there's a subtle nod to the game and Joel's rules for taking Ellie with him. The rules are almost identical to the ones in the game. They don't discuss their pasts, Ellie must keep her immunity a secret, and she must obey Joel's commands. This easter egg highlights Joel's reluctance to take Ellie under his wing and the importance of building trust and rapport between them. It's a nice touch for fans of the game to pick up on and adds to the depth of the relationship between Joel and Ellie in the show. Last of Us Episode 3's truck scene has many game easter eggs. The Last of Us Episode 3's ending sequence is packed with easter eggs referencing the original game. The truck scene, where Bill provides Joel and Ellie with a truck, is a direct callback to the original game, with the truck being the same make and color. In another easter egg, Ellie discovers a cassette tape and jokes that it must be from Joel's time. Joel denies it, but admits that it's a great song and plays it. This scene is also lifted from the game, although the song featured in The Last of Us Episode 3 is different from the one in the game. What other hidden details did you notice in The Last of Us Episode 3? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Project Arby's didn't have free lunch, it was a restaurant. Joel.